Hey, what is up guys? Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. So one of the most common questions I get is how do I change my springboard layout or how do I change my icon layout, etc. It's asked in many different ways. So I figured I'd make a dedicated video showing you guys how to change uh, your icon layouts on your home screen. So uh, there's a few different ways to do it with tweaks from Cydia. There's a, a couple different tweaks you can use, but by far, in my opinion, the best tweak to do this is Boxy 2. It's just hands down the best tweak to do it uh, just because it is completely customizable. Uh, you can basically change anything you want with Boxy 2. Now it's a little bit tedious. It does take a little time to get it to be the exact way you want it, uh, but it does work really, really good. So first off, if you swipe up on your springboard, you can have the quick settings, uh, which is basically just kind of default layouts. I don't really use this too much, but you can if you want. So if you scroll down the default box, click on done, it'll just make it a default box. As you guys can see, uh, you got center spread, even spread, top left. If I click on done, as you guys can see, that just puts all my icons in the top left. Now, it's really cool that you can change this on the fly. There's no respring required. So you can basically go through all these default settings. Uh, and if you want to use a default setting, you can. But like I said, I don't use this for the default settings. And typically within the tweak, I keep the enable quick settings disabled because like I said, I just don't use it. I like to customize it all myself. So within the settings for Boxy2, first off you got the enabled and then you got the enable quick settings. Uh, next section is presets and user settings. Uh, so this is where it gets interesting. So let's go ahead and go in here. Uh, so as you guys can see here, we have vertical icon padding, horizontal icon padding, side icon inset and top icon inset. Now. Uh, when I first came into this week, I had no idea what any of those meant and I was like, okay Well, what do I even change these to? Well, if you guys notice at the top There is how to use user config if you click on this it shows you an image which it, which uh, Explains each different section and what they mean So as you can see one is the side icon inset two is the top icon inset and etc so if you guys ever forget what each one of these sections uh, mean just go into the how to use user config to see the image so that you know what you're adjusting so you know you have the vertical icon padding and then each of these values is changed in pixels so if i were to change this to uh, let's say 20 uh, you can change it on the fly no respring required which is really cool so put in your your value and then go back to the main page of the settings and then just click your home button and as you guys can see uh, that setting changes um, you know in real time which is awesome no respring required if you had to respring after each change it would really suck so that's one thing I really really love about this tweak is that as you make these changes you basically just back out and you can see the changes take effect let's go ahead and do 30 click the home button and then the icons move down a little further let's go back in let's adjust this back to 10 go back click the home button and it'll raise all my icons back up. Uh, so it's pretty self-explanatory what you uh, once you know which uh, each one of these sections is. So if I were to do side icon inset, let's say 50, let's back out. And you guys will see this change take effect. So as you can see, it goes to the right just a little bit. I'll go ahead and change that back to 40 because I have mine set up uh, exactly the way I want it. Go back and it moves back just very slightly. Uh, you also do have the ability to auto center horizontally and auto center vertically. So that's gonna make your layout centered depending on which one you choose, obviously. Uh, you also do have layout presets, which is uh, available within the quick settings, but you can also access it within the main settings if you do have the quick settings disabled. Not really necessary to use that in my opinion. Uh, the next section here is general configurations. Uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, I have a tweak or other tweaks that do most of this stuff So I don't really need to use any of it, but you do have the ability to uh, make page control visible icon labels visible uh, Square icons you can use which is pretty neat and you also do have the ability to hide the dock with boxy 2 as well But like I said, I have other tweaks that pretty much take the place of these options uh, and then the next section here is another very important section is the icon layout settings so within here, you can change your columns and rows, which is very important for changing your layout. Uh, a lot of people like to do a, a three column by five, four or five row setup, which is pretty nice. I've done that on um, other setups in the past where I've just kind of changed, you know, the columns to three, 
and then changed the rows to like, you know, four or five. You could even do six, but it looks better if it's a little bit shorter. But for number of columns, you can do one through seven. And then rows, you can do one through ten. So the columns are horizontal, and then the rows are obviously vertical. So if you see the numbers I have, four and six, you'll know what each section is. And then, of course, uh, if you'd make any changes here, let's say we're, we were to do three, I'm not going to do it because it'll mess up my springboard or my layout that I have right now. It's going to move all the icons all over. But if I were to change it to three and five, uh, basically what you're going to want to do is see what it does for the layout and then go back in to presets and then change the padding and insets uh, to basically center it or, uh, you know, change it to whatever way you want. Uh, also, within the icon layout settings, you have what is this. There's a big long explanation. Uh, and then you have the ability to save your current icon order and then restore saved icon order, which is really cool as well. So if you really like a layout, you can save it and then you will have the ability to restore it. Uh, also at the bottom here, you can see there is apply changes and apply changes and restore state. You can read the short description below that of what it actually does that will basically respring your device. I've had a couple of times where it didn't want to uh, change the settings automatically, so I actually had to do a respring, but for the most part, all of these settings that you change will happen in real time, which is really, really nice for you know a tweak like this to do that. Uh, that way you can just fine tune all these settings and change your layout to whatever you want. Uh, like I said, this is a very tedious tweak. That's the type of tweak you want to go into and just kind of take your time with to get your icons or your layout exactly the way you want. But this is by far the best tweak for rearranging your layout of your home screen. So uh, again, it's called Boxy2. I'll leave all the tweak information down in the description. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.